Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering a grade 9 natural sciences question paper and mainly focusing on reproductive system question, which is question 4. I will also be highlighting a few concepts within the marking guidelines of this particular question paper and just making sure that I address um, very important aspects of what you need to know and understand when you're answering a reproduction, um, reproductive system kind of a question and also highlighting some of the mistakes that you need to avoid making please remember to like this video guys please also remember to subscribe to my channel comment down below and share the link with your friends with your classmates and also your schoolmates it's going to be a very short video um, but I will make sure that I, I, I explain all of the important um, uh, aspects that you need to know about this particular question so what we having in front of us is two diagrams so it's saying here study the diagrams below and answer questions that follow so we are given two diagrams and that and here they are labeled the structures we are given structure a and structure b so this is structure b and this is structure a like i always say in my videos guys when you are given a diagram or diagrams you need to be able to analyze them first before you even look at the questions now it's it's clear that these diagrams are from the reproduction or reproductive system which is grade nine um topic and what is clear here is that we are having a female reproductive system diagram and the male reproductive system diagram it's not a vagina and a penis that is wrong right so you need to be able to identify that before you even start answering the questions if you want to before you even start answering the questions you can uh, pause the video and try and label the different structures within each system within the female reproductive system and also within the male reproductive system now let's go to the questions now identify the heading hmm interesting they're asking you to identify the heading for structure a which is this structure and structure b which is this structure now structure a the heading here would be the female reproductive system female reproductive system sorry system then structure b would obviously be the male reproductive system nothing about the vagina and the penis guys no it's a system that involves a number of structures so remember a system we need a number of organs a number of structures that are working together so a vagina is basically this part so you can't say this whole structure is showing a vagina you can't say this whole structure is showing a penis no the penis is part of the structures or organs within the reproductive system of um either male or female so that is very important so we get our marks remember also you need to always check the marker location always check the marker location when you are answering these questions um four one two label the following parts in structure b so structure b is the male reproductive one they are asking us to label part one and part six these are the structures that they are asking us to label part one and part six this is easy there is part one arising from this structure um going up i'm not going to give you guys the names of the structures but this is this is quite simple so part one will be the vast difference we know that vast difference or if you want to use another terminology and say spam duct that is also fine it's the same thing vast difference it's going to transport spam from the storage center here which is the epididymis so it will transport spam from the epididymis obviously to the penis okay then part six so let's check where part six is pointed part six is pointed here and that is the scrotum okay so that is the scrotum that is housing the testes all right then we also get a mark there then we go to four one three give the number 
and the name of the part in structure B that one transports both semen and urine. Part B produces hormone testosterone. Look at the marker location, guys. This question is asking you for two things. This is very important because this is one mistake that learners make and you need to avoid making this mistake, right? So 413 is asking you to give the number and the name. The one mistake that some learners will make is either just giving the number only or giving the name only. So you are asked to give both. Again, they are asking us to focus on structure B um, so that we can look at the structures there and give the number and name of a structure that will transport both semen and urine. Both semen and urine. Semen, remember, is spam together with the fluids that are released by the glands, right? Then urine, ow, it's urine that is a carrying waste substances. So let's look at that structure. So that would be the urethra. So let's look at the number. There is the urethra there. So number three is what we are looking for. The urethra is the one that transports both semen and urine. So the part is part three. Part three. And the name is urethra and not ureta. That is important. I'm going to even change a color here to show you that you need to, you'll obviously be getting mark, a mark for the number and the name. Urethra and not ureta. Remember, ureta is basically um, a pipe that will transport urine from the kidney to the bladder. So I know learners also normally confuse those two. Please make sure to not confuse them. Okay. We are still within the same question. We are asked to give the number and the name of the part in structure B that produces testosterone. Remember, this is a hormone. This is a male hormone. I'm not finding my color anymore. Is this the same color? Okay, I guess it does matter. Hormone testosterone, we know it's produced by the testes. So let's look at the labels. They are the testes. So that is part number four. Again, we are going to answer the name and the number. So the number is part four and the name testes. The testes. Okay. Then this will be marked independently. Part four for the number and for the name is testes. Testes. Okay. All right, 414, label the part marked 3 in structure A. Now we are looking at the female reproductive system. Label the part marked 3 in structure A. Let us scroll up. Part 3 in structure A, there it is. That is our uterus. Now they are not asking us for a function or anything else. We will just give the name. Of the structure that is the uterus. 415. Name the parts of structure A where fertilization take place for one mark. We are just naming. Um, this one did not necessarily need us to scroll up because they are not asking us to match the number. So however I'm scrolling up just to emphasize that fertilization will take place here in the fallopian tube, or you can also call it an oviduct. So that is where fertilization would take place. This is basically where the nucleus of the sperm will fuse with the nucleus of the egg in order to form a zygote. That is fertilization. You are going to have an egg, or you can call it an ova, that will um, be fertilized by a sperm in order to produce a zygote okay uh, so let us write our answer fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube fallopian tube or you can say oviduct it's the same thing six and nine all right okay so I hope you understand. I, I'm not entirely happy with this question because it's not really asking um, 
middle and higher order questions it's mostly just one mark and lower they are all lower order questions so it's just a matter of you remembering basic information about the two reproductive system there's nothing about providing functions for the different structures there's nothing about um, surgical procedures that can be conducted within the female or the male reproductive system um, but I guess I will look at another question paper and see if I can get a question paper with higher order questions where you need to discuss, um, when you need to explain, where you need to give more information or even give functions and all of that. That's it for today's video, guys. Please remember to like this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, share the link with your classmates and your schoolmates and all the best for your test and exam.